is your host in the studio, Hood, House, Stern, and Mook Money. Mook Money. <laughs> Yo, 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 man, we definitely in the building, man. Shout out to making it to Thursday on this motherfucker and still being alive, dog. It's a new year. You know what I'm saying? But it's your boy. Show. It's your boy. Q. Lewis holding it down from the D to the other D in the Rocky Mountains. Got my man Monk Money yeah. holding it down, man. What it do? Man, same old, same old. You know I don't do nothing until we hit the airway. You know what it do. Yeah, I feel I can dig that, man. Right, but look, though, it's a, it's a new year, bro. You excited? Yeah. Very. <laughs> that didn't sound like excitement, my nigga. Oh, shit. That didn't bad. sound like excitement, my nigga. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Not too exciting, <laughs> man. It's, it's been it's same been old same. Days. Same old same old what you got, man. You know, you know, I keep it low to the ground like an ant, bro. I ain't yeah. doing too much now, but stand out the way, you know what I'm talking about? For sure. Uh <laughs> Man, I, 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 I work, bro. New Year's, I ain't do nothing but work. Didn't do nothing special. Didn't party, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Boy, I work. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> there ain't no way to start the New Year, my nigga. Get money, yes it is. It's a very good way to start the New Year. Oh, okay, well, if you say it like that, then I get that. <laughs> Getting money, man. That's, that's that's a great start to, you know, a promised future. You know what I'm talking about? Yo, for sure, for sure. I can I can dig that, dog. Hey, but it is a it's a new year, dog. You know what I'm saying? We ain't been on since last year. I wanna give a shout out to uh, you know, people checking us out on Instagram live. This is only the second time I'm trying this shit, so I ain't real good at this shit and my tablet don't really get good reception. But as you can see though, we got the E block got the E block uh sticker on back of the laptop right there, you know what I'm saying, doing major things right there. E block radio right there. But uh also too, man, if you got social media, make sure you hit us up on Twitter and Instagram, all right. Hit up my man at Hood. Uh, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Hit up my man right, at right. Real Money and myself at Hood Howard Stern, man. Make sure you check me out. You know what I'm saying? We'll, maybe we'll give y'all a shout out or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm new to this shit. You feel me? But uh, it's a it's a new year, dog. We ain't been on since last year, dog. So what's, what's really been popping with you? I know you said you ain't been doing shit but working, dog. But what's going on with you for real? Uh, waking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You yeah, sincere about that shit, Wicked, man. I'm trying to... I'm, man, my thing is, bro, I don't have no re- no resolution, you know, New Year's, all that crap, but what I want to do, man, is I want to put my hands in a little bit of everything, man. Try to get, you mm-hmm. know, out here, you know what I'm saying, with the show, you know what I'm saying, with my, you know, with my, with my cooking, you know what I mean? I'm just... I'm just yeah. trying to get out here, bro. This is my year to get out here, you know what I'm saying? And, you <laughs> know, a lot of people say that. It's my year, bro. A lot of people say that's their year and all that, but I feel like, bro, for real, for real, bro, this is yeah. where I go get it. This is where I go up, get it. I can dig that, dog. And, and if you had a, if you did have a resolution, dog, it's, it's all good, man. I ain't, I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? If you got a resolution, it's all right. Just make sure you stick to it, right. though. That, I think that's the problem. <laughs> people don't want to stick right, to right. it. All right. Yeah, for sure. Hey, but look, yeah. it's some, uh, it's a gang of movies coming out this year too. I know you a you a movie dude, dog. What you excited about seeing this new year though? Uh, Underworld. Well, I should have dog. I should have figured that. I should have figured that. <laughs> I, I don't even know why I asked this shit. I should have. I should have known that. No, I'm so I'm so amped up for Underworld. You know, and for Marvel too. You know what I'm saying? Marvel coming out with some dope shit too. You know what I'm saying? So kind of amped hey, about all that. You know? Huh? What's supposed to be coming out though? Oh, uh, they got uh Galaxy the the Avengers of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy. They got a okay. uh, new Spider Man coming out. They got a few little things coming yeah, out, man. Spider- yeah, why well, I didn't know that. I didn't even know it was a new Spider Joint coming out though. Yeah, a new Spider oh. Joint coming out, you know what I'm saying? Transformers. Another one of those, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, look, I'm gonna tell you how far behind I am, dog. I just I just seen uh, that the last Avengers Civil War. I just seen it. What? <laughs> no bullshit. Like me? last week, like last week, right? I just seen it. <laughs> it was gangster, though, wasn't it? Yo, that shit was gangster. It was long in the motherfucker, right? Because you know I watched it on Netflix and shit. 
<laughs> but um, I seen how many. I seen it was like over two hours or some shit. So I almost didn't watch it because you know I'm a, I'm a, uh, I'm a low attention span nigga and shit. So I was like, damn, I don't know if I can watch this. No, for real. But uh, the shit was good though. Like I watched it all the way through, and like it didn't even seem like it was that long. The shit was dope. And I'm I'm, I'm whack as hell for just now seeing it. That shit been out for like what over a year down there, right? Yeah. Well over a year. Right. Yeah, but shit, that, that shit was dope though. Man, that shit was dope. But you know, so you, know well, you know what I want to see though. I want to see the uh, hidden figures and shit, right? About the, the black the black ladies who wrote the math up for you know the people going to the moon and shit. I want to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Now for I, real, I, I want to see fences too though. Long oh yeah, That's yeah. My yeah. name joint. I'm going to the moon. You're right. I do. I do want to see that too. Anybody, uh, anybody out there on the gram right now checking this out, man? If you got the bootleg, what's up, man? You know, I'll, I'll let let me know. Hit me up on the comment or something. Tell me where I can go find the movies for free online. I'm just saying though. <laughs> I ain't gonna shout out your name just in case the feds watching and shit. <laughs> right, 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 right. Keep it low key. Z. <laughs> <laughs> I heartbeats, man. I, I'm reading. I'm reading these comments over here. She's talking about it. She just five heartbeats. Hey, but look. I'm gonna be honest about that shit too, though, right? I just seen the Five Heartbeats in its entirety. Um, maybe about what? three months. About three months. Ago. How? So How? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you that and and Ray. This like three months ago, the first time I seen all the like all the way through from beginning to end. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I know. Right? Yes, I, I, don't, I don't understand it. Yo, the race shit was good as hell, though. Five Heartbeats, man. This, you know, that's all right. That's like, that was my mama movie. Like, that, that ain't really my shit. <laughs> right, right, right. Five Heartbeats is shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna yeah, bro. Appar- apparently, everybody else thinks so as well. So, you know, it's all good, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I, uh, now the Temptation movie. I actually I like the Temptation movie better than Five Heartbeats. So I'm probably I don't know. Is that wrong? No, no. I mean, no. hell no. Yeah. Both of them, you know, equally good. But you know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, what's the name was more animated. Five Heartbeats was more animated. <laughs> but it still was a good movie. Yeah. All right, what's we'll that? <laughs> I it, well that, that's a, that's enough for me, y'all. Cause you know I don't, I don't really watch movies like that. All right, dog. I'm gonna tell you what I did watch, and it, and I don't know if it's uh I don't know if it's just not necessarily my thing, but um I was watching the History Channel, and they they got like this competition, like niggas making swords and knives and shit, right? So immediately after yeah. that, uh, Vikings came on, and I was like, damn, must be telling me about this shit. Like I'm gonna check it out. I don't like it, dog. It ain't it ain't my thing. No, you don't like it. No, nah, but you know what? I don't. I don't look at all that other shit either, though. So you know, I don't yeah, think it's my right, thing. Right. Did it. right, right. I don't watch all that, all that uh, Spartacus type shit. <laughs> I love that shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think I was a Viking in my, you know, my former life. You swear, dog? For real? I think yeah. I was, bro. I got Viking <laughs> tendencies, you know. Don't lie. Yeah, Viking tendencies, though. And so what, what was on? What went down for New Year's, dog? Like, so you ain't, you ain't you ain't get shit popping for 2017, dog? Or was you mm-hmm. your ass was working? I was weak. <laughs> I was getting money, bro. I was stay working. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I feel you, man. We gonna get that one shit popping too, man. This year, for real, for real. Man, we about to get everything. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, <laughs> I got my dog back. I got my dog back. You know what I'm saying? We get in and <laughs> sit in, bro. Put our hands in everything. So, sure. hey, look, yeah, anybody out there listening, man, make sure you check out my man, Real Monk Money. Check out his page, dog. He'll be cooking up some shit. We about, we about to be on some, some real chef shit. 2017. I ain't cooking shit, though. I'm going to let y'all know that shit right now. I ain't cooking shit. Oh, so, uh, my we know. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for sure. I cooked, the, I cooked the hell out of DiGiorno, though, my nigga. I, I cooked the hell out of DiGiorno. Hell, yeah. You one of the best DiGiorno cookers I ever met, nigga. <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker crust is perfect. No, perfect. Then I get the extras on that motherfucker, a little cheese right, and right. shit, turkey and shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't even know about that. I put I put sliced wow. turkey on You don't even know. 
<laughs> now you know him. It's on point. It's on point. They, they be sleeping on it, bro. No, but you know my thing you. is, bro. The food, man. I trust fat people when they say <laughs> it's on point. You gotta trust them, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta trust them, nigga. I'm just saying, though, for real, though, because they know where all yeah. the good shit at. They got to. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, you ain't even a fat nigga, but, but you know all the good food, though. I guess because you were cook and shit. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm mm-hmm. I'm borderline. Like, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm borderline. <laughs> that nigga said I'm borderline. Uh, yeah, I'm borderline, but I ain't mad. I, ain't, I don't care. Word. You know what I'm hey, saying? There's more of me to on... love. <laughs> You stupid, man. Hey, you be watching uh that old you be watching Twilight Zone, bro? Mm, oh no, nah, I don't really get into Twilight Zone. Not really? Oh, okay. No. Cause you know, uh, on New Year's they be having the the like the what you call that shit marathon. Man, I watch I watch Twilight Zone for about two nights straight, nigga. And <laughs> all I'm saying, they need what? to bring that shit back, though. Yeah, they need to bring that shit back, though. It's classic. You don't fuck. You don't fuck with that. Mm mm. No, I ain't really got into it like that, bro. You know, the yeah. you know, horror of my shit, and I ain't really got into that one like that, bro. Yeah. Well, I guess that they, ain't really really my it's like some suspense. I guess you would call it. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you call yeah, it that. Like, it's some old shit though. I seen some. I mean, obviously they all in black and white. But I seen something so old, dog, this shit looked like it was on the stage play, though. Like, this shit was super old. Right, right. Yeah, that's my shit, though. I, I, I dig that shit, man. What else been going on, though, since yeah. tonight, man? Uh, nothing else, bro. That's about, that's about it for your boy, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I mean, you know, trying to get out there and venture, you know what I'm saying? I want my own breakfast spot, you know what I mean? I really want this, man. And mm-hmm. and, I, and I'm claiming it, dog. It, it's about to happen, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, well, I'm with you. Right. Yeah, uh, I know. I, I know. I know. I know who with me, who ain't. <laughs> so you know, you already know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, let's go. Dog, I was watching, uh, I, I'm always watching old shit, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I was watching, uh, what's that, the first Think Like a Man. And then, you know, of course, at the end, you know, dude got the food truck and shit. <laughs> Every time I see that part of the movie, I'll be thinking about your ass. Like, man, that should, that should be my guy right there. Hell yeah, boy. It can't be me, bro. But I want, I want a building, bro. I want breakfast, bro. Oh, you want to oh, build it? Yes, bro. I want to oh. do breakfast and lunch, bro. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Hey, what's well, yes. dog? You uh, we on Instagram Live right now. Maybe you got some uh, some investors out there. Um, my man looking for an investors for a, a restaurant spot. Something like Snooze, huh? Yeah, so that's something exactly like Snooze, bro. Okay, yeah. No, that shit was you know so good, with bro. With the bar, with the bar and the, and the mimosas, and, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that's that be just like Snooze. Yeah, then they have mimosas in there? Hell yeah. Why we ain't drink shit? They had a juice bar, nigga. Oh, damn, I wasn't paying attention. I guess the food was so damn good. I really wasn't paying attention. Hell yeah, we wasn't paying attention. We waiting on the food yeah. patiently. <laughs> ain't looking at the bar. Hell no. <laughs> I swear to God, I ain't looking at the bar, bro. I swear to God, I ain't even look at it. That food was amazing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, I, got, I got that. I got it. I got out. I got that recipe, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I got you it, man. Yeah. Hey, shout yeah, out to uh, Snooze, Snooze Cafe in Denver, though. I, I know it's I, it's a franchise, though, right? They they got Snooze at other places, right? Yeah, uh, I, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I don't know either. But anyway, shout out to one man versus you. food. <laughs> That's where you saw this shit at? Yeah, man. I, every time I go somewhere, I hit up hit up man versus food Orlando. <clears throat> See what he stopped at. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Yeah. And if it's close, oh, I, if it's close, I'm hitting it too. Yeah. Oh shit, that that makes sense. Shit. All right, I dig that. I dig that. Yeah, man. Hey, look though, man. I, I don't know if you up on this. Now I think uh, I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure where this happened. At, but did you you seen the video of the uh, the black police officer chick right, like beating this young girl down in the middle of the street? You seen that shit? Mm mm. 
Yo, I'm, I'm not even sure. You know what I'm saying? Let me, uh, are you bullshit? Let me look it up right quick before I give some, uh, before I give some false information. But, um, yeah, the video got a black, black police officer, a chick. And I don't know what's going on. Like, she's trying to defuse the situation. And her and the, you know, the girl, it, it's a girl, obviously. It's like a little teenager or something. They going back and forth or whatever. They get to scrapping, you know what I'm saying? Like, scrap. She slammed the girl on the floor. I mean, on the ground, rather, because they're in the middle of the street. And just start, like, I mean, getting at it. Like, she on top of her, like, throwing blows to her grill. The chick trying to, like, move out the way and block her and shit, dog. And um, I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure what's going on with that whole situation, though. But the crazy thing to me, though, is that the people who was, uh, you know, like some of the newscasters and shit, they talking about, you know, don't jump to conclusions. What conclusions, <laughs> what conclusions can you not jump to? Like, she on top of a girl, like, giving her work, though. Like, I, I'm, I'm not sure what the fuck that young girl could have had done to her ass and shit that would make that happen. And they start off the new year like that, dog. And it ain't even crazy, though, man. Yeah, it ain't, it ain't even no racial shit because they both black. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, pol- it's a police power thing, nigga. That's the problem. Well, that's it, dog. They, I swear they all them on them damn Roy's, bro. We Roy raging, dog. <laughs> even the, even the swear, chief, bro. right? Yeah, all of them. Everybody. Yeah. Roy raging. Let me, uh, I'm trying to see where that shit was at. Because that shit just happened like the... Uh, the other day, like Coco J was telling me about this shit, and then I seen DL Hughley had posted something, um, either on on the gram or on Facebook, I can't remember, and uh, he posted that shit. Damn, I can't, I can't even find that shit. That might be it. Let me see. It say like Philadelphia. That might have been Philly. Let me pull it up real quick and check though. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the shit I'm talking about. Yeah, this it right here. I mean, gave gave her that work though. Let me see. That's crazy, dog. That's yeah. totally now, nice, bro. Now, mind you, now mind you, I know it's some. Uh, <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna take away from the fact there's some badass kids out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? It is some badass yeah. kids. I mean, that that actually happens. But for for the police officer to be that overzealous, though, like at some point, I, I know you always say this shit, but at some point, dog, you you are the trained individual, though. You know what I'm saying? Like you are the trained individual who who should be able to subdue a child, though. Like when you're a grown motherfucking adult, right? You, you would think, right? Yeah. Without beating the brakes off of them. Right. I mean, beat the brakes. Like she's already she's already slammed her to the ground. You know what I'm saying? So she already got her pinned down. So it's a it's a wrap. It's, it should be over with at that point. But instead, she like commenced to like giving her that work though. Like I. I'm laughing about it, but this shit ain't, you know, this shit ain't really funny, dog. I mean, she gave her that work. Yeah, now I'm looking at it right now. Now, I think what happened is, I think the police got caught because it's, a, it's like a, it's a big-ass scrap, though. Like, it's a bunch of chicks fighting and shit, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so they came to break up the fight. Now, once they done broke up the fight, she backing this one girl down, and then she just, I don't know what the girl said to her, but she gave the little girl the work, though. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, dog. Hell yeah, that shit crazy. That's yeah, like crazy, she trying, to, trying to walk away. I mean, she got the baton out on her, you know, the big ass black jacket or whatever you call that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm just, I'm watching that shit now. It's crazy because, like, they turn the camera a little bit and then when they come back, she's slamming her down and then she's just sitting on top of her giving her that word. <laughs> like, it, it ain't even funny, though. And the police officer. The police officer that came over there though didn't even really pull her off of her. He, he, he kind of, I don't know, you can't really tell if it's a dude or a chick like the other police officer. But it's just kind of like he was moving other people away, like letting her still get a little girl at work though. You feel me? Yeah. That's some, uh, that's some crazy shit, dog. But that's what that's that's how we start in 2017, though. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> that's less, dog. Yeah, it is. Then, then, all right, so we, we offer the police shit real quick, though. You know, we always got to talk a little shit about what's going on in the news. But also, too, if you check us out right now on uh, Instagram Live or if you're on the uh, phone lines, you got to make sure you hang out to the end. Got my man Splashy B at the end, dog. Got one of his new joints. It's a, it's a debut, actually, uh, called Snaps, right? 
Now, uh, it's coming out on this joint. I think it come out next month. So I got the exclusive, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my man, Splashy B. But, um, but yeah, I heard, I heard this, two things actually um, in Detroit, right? So I heard the one thing, uh, dude, I can't remember what kind of car he had, but he was like in the Southfield area. So people who are outside of, outside of Michigan listening to this show right now, Southfield area is like kind of, uh, you know, right near Detroit. It's like a small suburb right outside Detroit. Now he went to the to the gas station and I guess some dudes rolled up on him like acting like the police basically. And uh, they robbed, <laughs> this, this ain't funny either, but they robbed him, they took his car and took all his clothes though. Like left the nigga outside in the cold, like in this draw type shit. Niggas are scandalous, yo. Scandalous. I don't even understand. And then, Today, uh, Coco J was telling me. I don't know if this happened maybe last night, but this was uh, this was in the city. I think on the on the east side. She said, um, "Dude, dude, go into the to the gas station." Now, first, I'm gonna tell you the story, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you what you think. Because before I tell the story, I'm gonna say that I don't think this was a robbery. <laughs> I just, I just want to say like I I don't want to speak ill on niggas because I don't I don't really know, but this shit don't seem like a robbery. So anyway. The uh, surveillance camera catch two dudes in the gas station, like, you know, pump faking, basically looking like they looking for some chips and something to drink and shit, right? So the dude, a third dude come in, like, I guess he got gas or bought something, I don't know. So they end up going out after him and shit. They end up supposedly robbing him or whatever, but he bust up and ran and they killed him anyway, though. Like, but I don't know if they actually took nothing. Like, I don't think that was a robbery for real. I think they was following him and some shit, some other shit was going on. Right, right, because they're going to rock, they're going they, they to get you right there, man. Yeah, and that's I understand, yeah. I understand them going in the store, that shit, like, that shit just baffles me, bro. Like, y'all know yeah. the cameras everywhere. Right. Yeah, that, that means that they was, they was looking for him. That wasn't no, that don't really seem like a robbery. Like, no, no. you know, again, I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure. But uh, some other crazy shit. All right, we're going to get off to the top of the trail in a minute. But there's a lot of crazy shit happening in the city, man. I love my city, man. We're crazy in the motherfucker out there. I don't understand what's going on. Now, from this is another story. I think, I want to say this is on the, on the west side. I'm not sure. But uh, it's a, a band of dudes, like a little, some teenagers, right? I guess they're going around the neighborhood like, breaking in cars and like and taking shit you know what i'm saying but um a lady a lady peeked them like stealing shit so one one night she peeked them stealing shit and she followed them right now she followed them basically to see where they going to see who it is while she following them while she follow them a van a van dip out of nowhere pull up on the niggas and like you know how you you know how you cut a nigga off and make them run off the road a van pull up yeah. on the niggas they jump out and run. They jump out and kill the niggas. Shot one nigga, uh, um, like what you call that shit? You know, execution style. On top of my crib. Now she she was just trying to like this is weird shit. She was just trying to follow, see who it was, and at the same time, some other niggas was coming to kill the motherfuckers, and she witnessed it. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, that's what beyond. a coincidence, like, bro. Dog, coincidence like hell. She was really just trying to, she was trying to pull up and like see, damn, like what are these kids doing, and like who else they go rob or whatever. And she ended up witnessing a murder, bro. It's crazy. That's crazy. Man, that's some crazy that's shit. Crazy. I, <laughs> dog, I, and and you can already imagine that that you know she looked she looked suspicious. Like that's a fucked up position to be in. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, wanna, yeah, she. I'm getting the hell out of there ASAP. <laughs> Cause it's gonna look like you set it up and some shit. Well, yeah, I'm getting the hell out. You ain't seen me. He ain't probably even gonna hear that story. <laughs> well, it's too late, love. She's already <laughs> telling the story. Yeah, fuck with me. You will not hear that story. Man, that's some crazy shit though. It, it's, and and all of this happened, you know, since the beginning of the year. Like we starting off the year like so so terrible. Hot, cause it's too cold outside to be that hot. <laughs> nah, you would think so, right? For real, it's too yeah. cold outside to be that damn hot. Nah, these niggas are out here not giving no fucks. 
For real. No, for real, Early. bro. Early. It just turned 2017, dog. Like, man, give it a chance to get the get out the month of January. Like, I mean, you think of like two weeks ago, niggas was just celebrating Christmas. Now they just, they just on the most demonist shit. Demonist is not even a word, but I'm going to use that word anyway because it's my show and I can do that. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I can't believe it, though. And, and it's fucked up, though, because I think one of the kids was like, uh, I want to say he was like 15 or something. Like, it was, you know, a young dude, man. I know young niggas be out here doing shit like that they shouldn't be. I mean, I guess we, we probably all did to a certain degree. Man, don't nobody deserve right. to get killed like that, man. But then you just right. start thinking like, some situations you put yourself in, though, that, that you don't have to be in, though. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, and, yeah. like I say, I don't, I don't want to say it like that, but that, it's the truth, though. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. It's definitely true, bro. It's situations you can avoid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Instead of going in there stupid and head first. Right, exactly. And I, and I guess it's, it's easy to say when, you know, when you when you old like us and we didn't, we didn't live through that. You know that that uh I guess that dumb period. Dime, <laughs> yeah, dime of my life. But I don't think we was that ignorant. Yeah, I, I I would have to say I don't think so either. I, I mean, I that could be a long shot, but I I, I don't think we was that ignorant either, man. <laughs> For real. I want to uh real quick too, man. I just want to shout out all the people checking us out on Instagram Live. All the people checking us out on eblockradio.com. Make sure you follow me and my homie, all right? So make sure you follow Real Monk Money and myself, Hood Howard Stern. Obviously, if, you, if you're checking us out on Instagram Live, then you must follow me already. Otherwise, you would have never seen this video. <laughs> now, I, we, I'm going to switch gears real quick before we jump off into the politics because I know you don't really want to talk about it, no way. But uh, yeah, did, you, did you see the, uh, oh, man, both, both games, dog. First of all, did you see the Michigan game? No. Okay. I didn't see none of them. I didn't. Dis- I wasn't that disappointed because I didn't even watch them. <laughs> the, the Michigan none game. The Michigan game wasn't bad. Michigan game wasn't the bad. The Lions I mean, game was bad. Yeah, the Lions game was bad. We are gonna get to that in a minute. But the, uh, the Michigan game wasn't bad. Though. It was. It was a hell of a game. Matter of fact, uh, for, for people out there checking it out, if you uh, if you did see the Michigan game, you know that was it was a good ass game. It came down to the wire. And uh, shout out to Florida State, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a Florida State fan as well. But, of course, I was rooting for Michigan. But uh, it was a hell of a game, though. They ended up only winning by one point. But um, I, I was I was sad. I was a little sad, though. Yeah. So I, I, think I, was, I think I was prepared then. Like, after after they lost, I I was prepared. For the Lions? Yeah. <laughs> I think I was prepared, like – I had already got that, that let down, so I, I think I was cool. I think yeah, I, I was, was cool. You was, yeah. Yeah. You was waiting for another <laughs> let down. I was already yeah. – man, I wish I would have bet, man, because I couldn't – I kind of, like, knew it, dog. You I did. love my Lions, bro. I love them, bro. Niggas, yeah. they won a game, bro. A <laughs> game out of three. You didn't win one of them. Right, like, right. Like, come on, bro. But I hope they go in Seattle and do their thing, though. I really do. Man, I I hope I I can't uh <laughs> I, don't, I really don't know. Like they, I I felt like the way I don't know. I feel like the way Green Bay was playing. I don't think nobody was gonna beat them at this point. Like they they on a mission. But I think we should have at least at, at the very least we should have won uh the the Giants game at the very least. At the very least, yeah. You know what I'm about. Yeah, we should have. And then we should have. We should have beat Dallas too, though. We should have beat Dallas too. Yeah. Yeah. We could have. I think yeah. we could have. I don't know, but we didn't. Like you said, yeah. we didn't win. Man, one of them motherfuckers. Not man, one of. Them. <laughs> Not man, one. How did that even happen, dog? Uh, not man, another. Right, not now another dog for real. All right, well, uh, enough about that, man. Cause I'm I'm about to relive yeah. that shit. And I'm, I'm gonna get pissed. Yeah, it hurts. It hurts. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. It hurt like losing a loved one and shit, man. Yeah. 
for real. All right, we go, we go, keep it, keep it moving, man. Before we jump off on, on these politics that you don't want to talk about, man, any any other random shit you want to holler, at, you know, holler at the people about before we jump in. Uh, if anybody need any um catering, you know, what I'm saying any any parties done, you know what I mean. Uh, holler at your boy, man. I'm out here, man. You know what I'm saying, my money, dog. You know what I'm saying. Anybody know me, they know how my food is. So you know what I'm saying. Get in contact with somebody who can get in contact with me. You know what I'm talking about? We get it pushing. You okay. feel me? <laughs> Word. That's, All right, that's I like all I got to say. All right. So, yeah, again, make sure y'all hit my man up on the gram. Uh, real Monk Money. You can see some of his food already already posted. So, you can see what you're getting into. So, he'd be good. All right. Now, move, moving right along, dog. We, uh, we only got a little over 20 minutes. So, I... I know, I know you. I know you hate these subjects. So we gonna try to, we gonna try to spin it a little bit to, uh, you know, to your liking. All right. So if you are, uh, if you on eblockradio.com right now, or if you on Instagram Live, or if you on the phone lines, man, you gotta hit number one key. But if you're not on the phone lines, you gotta hit us up seven six zero two eight three forty six forty seven. I wanna know, man. What, what, what do you think life is really gonna be like after Trump? I mean, we got less than 20 days. You know, we got 15 days basically from this point till inauguration. Up. So I want to know, how do you think the Trump presidency is going to affect your everyday life? So, Money, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you this first. Now, you ain't gotta get real political with it, but I guess just in general, do you, do you think a Trump presidency is really going? Like, how much do you think is really going to affect your life? Um, not not much at all. Honestly, I mean, shit. The, every president that been in the motherfucking office ain't never really affected my life. <laughs> with no, from a, right? You know, for me to be one hundred with it, you know what I mean? Like nothing. My situation never changed for the better or worse. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's, 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 it's been the same. You know what I'm talking about? And yeah. I don't, I don't. You know, I don't follow politics too much, and I try to stay out the way of that shit, because, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a bunch of drama, bro, you know what I'm saying? It's like, breed drama, you know? And my daddy, they always say, they crooks, the motherfuckers is crooks, and, I mean, shit. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, they are, you know what I'm saying? They, yeah, you know I mean, saying? Tr- yeah, no matter who you put in there. No matter who you put in there, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a bunch of crooks, you know what I'm saying? We can't, you know... It's no winning for us, so I mean, me personally, bro. I mean, I don't think it's gonna affect us at all. I mean, yeah. poor folks, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, niggas when they got too much, and they go poor folks, they ain't gonna really help, you know. But you know, the middle class and all these people, you know, what I'm saying, with a little bit of bread, you know, what I'm saying, it might affect them. But then again, it might be. Beneficial for us, you know what I'm saying? Like people like me try to get you know their own thing going, you know, business wise, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure, you know, the president, Trump, you know what I'm saying, probably, you know what I'm saying, throw out little, you know, things to get people business started, you know what I'm talking about? So I mean it could be beneficial for you know it could be, you know what I mean? You never know, you know what I mean? you never know what's gonna happen when you you know off this world. At least, at least we all are hopeful of that shit because, I mean, now, right. I think, you know, as, as, as black folks anyway, in our community, we always figure, you know, one, once you got the nigga in there, like, it is what it is. So now we got to figure out, you know, how to how to make it work to our advantage. But I think that's a that's a that's an easy thing for us because, shit, that's, that's what we've always done with no matter who was in there. You know right. what I'm saying? Now, I know it's a it's a scarier thing, though. When when you think about some of the blatant, you know, some of the blatant racism that's coming out because of like the some of the followers of Donald Trump, you know what I'm saying? So that's a little bit different. But I think the the opportunity, the opportunity for us, I figure, is gonna be good regardless because we go we always seem to make a, a better a better opportunity out of like the worst situation. Situation. Yeah, now on your tip, like you said, on the business tip, I mean, maybe this is a good time to try to take advantage of that because you got a business-minded, you know, president. So I figure, you know, we, I, I look at it like this. The government take advantage of us. I think it's our turn to take advantage of the government. <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah, I, so I, get it in all you can right now, you know what I mean? Right. And, you know, what 
you know, and I, you know, our city, you know, is going to be next five years. I see it, you know what I'm saying, prospering a, a, a shit ton, you know what I mean? No matter how much of crap going on, going you know, around, but I, I think I feel like they working on it to get it better, you know what I mean? Because it was a lot worse. Right. If you were to think about it uh, five years ago, it was a lot, lot worse, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I mean, like I said, bro, I mean, it might be, it might be, Something good happen for us, you know what I'm saying? I don't right. get something out of the situation. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I honestly think so, though. And like I mentioned before, I think we talked about this a few weeks ago. Um, like I mentioned before, I think if if nothing else is going to give us an incentive to, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like galvanize, uh, an, an incentive to to become united, like to to make an effort, like for real, for real. Cause like, I, as much as as much as I enjoy the I guess the celebrity of having Barack Obama as the president and being able to say you know what I'm saying like you know my nigga Jesus say my president is black being able to say that felt like a privilege even though in real life it really didn't mean shit for us you know what I'm saying so. Yeah. Right, so I think this this gives us another opportunity to go ahead and get our shit together and, and and really focus when when we're not blinded by the fact that we think that the White House has been built for us. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I mean, even with Obama in there, you knew you still wasn't included. <laughs> no, right, exactly. It wasn't no big change. It wasn't no right, big change, even though our president was black. You know what I mean? Exactly. And 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 I say that too, not not by his own fault, but just because the way politics work, the the way the whole shit works. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. that's the way the system is built up. So can't really be mad about that, I guess. I mean, you could be, but then, I mean, what 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 difference will it make? What difference will it make? <laughs> what, what, what you gonna get out the whole situation? Nothing. But being angry. Right. That's enough. Word. And don't forget though, if you on uh, if you on eblockradio.com right now, you can hit us up 760-283-4647. Hit that number one key. If you uh, if you check us out on Instagram live, make sure you follow my partner, man. Real Monk Money, you know what I'm saying? And check him out because he uh, he's trying to serve y'all some food, you know what I'm saying? Trying to serve the dishes. It's <laughs> there. Delectable yeah, but, dishes. <laughs> delectable. I, I think I think this is a it's just a, a great opportunity and, and and two another thing that's strategic though I don't know if you noticed this or not but like the the movies now first of all I know I, I talked about hidden figures earlier that's the movie about the uh, the black ladies who you know wrote up the map for uh you know for the the space travel to the moon now also what? now also um after after that uh. Is a joint coming out with for uh, James Baldwin, right? You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite authors. Now, I think all of this is st- strategic, and I think it's good on our on our end because when you start in, you know infusing media about you know that that progressive black movement, I think this is a perfect time to, to put in there. I, I ain't trying to turn you know Marcus Garvey on y'all or nothing, but I think this is perfect time though. To be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? What do you think? Uh, I think it's, I think it's the perfect time to do it. Like, man, man, I am lost. <laughs> totally lost, bro. Like, I, I mean, I'm so lost into the politics. You know what I'm saying? I'm so lost into the ah, man. I'm getting more confused right now, dog. I yeah. just had to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's one of those situations, but and I say I say it's one of those situations because again, you, we never we never gave you know we never really gave that much that much thought to politics anyway because we never thought that it involved us. And then, like I said, the last eight years you kind of got tricked into thinking that it was just because we had a black president. So then you right, got to right, kind of right. get back to the reality of you know, the Reagans and the Bushes and the Clintons before that to remind yeah. you of you know what the you know what the shit really is. I mean simple as that. What the yeah. shit really is. I, I can't say it no other way. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know man. 
Don't forget, man, you only got a few minutes left, though. So if you're on, if you're on eblockradio.com or if you're on Instagram Live, make sure you hit us up, 760-283-4647, and hit that number one key. I, I know a lot of people... Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of people are scared to, to comment on politics, but for whatever reason, I don't know. But I, I did I did notice that though. A lot of people are afraid, and that's okay. I, I get it. I mean, to a certain degree. But I think now, especially as we got older, you start really seeing you start really seeing the the importance, like the importance of knowing some of this shit, and, and also just the importance of knowing or realizing that. No matter who you put in office, it's still go. It's still gonna be a problem. Like nothing's ever gonna be 100. Like ne- nothing's ever gonna be 100 on your, you know, on, on your behalf. You know what I'm saying? So, Where? I don't know. We just gotta we gotta play it for for what it's worth. And you know what I'm saying? I I know that that politics don't really concern us, but at the end of the day, you gotta kind of know the ins and outs of the, you know, at least the system that's working against you. <laughs> Shout out to the government, right. by the way. But we'll get, we'll yeah, get shut down by the feds. Big up. Right, we got to get so man. <laughs> big up to the feds and shit. Because <laughs> they probably watching us on Instagram live and shit. But it's all good. <laughs> Don't forget, man. If y'all not scared to say something, man, hit us up. 760-283-4647. Hit that number one key, man. We want to know, with Trump getting sworn in in less than 20 days, man, how much is that really going to affect your life, though? We kind of want to know. Um now, for for a lot of people, at least let me say this, for a lot of criminals, right? For a lot of criminals, like the uh, the Clinton administration put a lot of motherfuckers in jail. And this was like, these were lightweight criminals at the time. And, you know, they got the, the three three strikes and you out rules and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Put a lot of people behind bars for a long time, like who's still serving time at this point. Now, I don't think... I. I don't think a lot of that is going to change, and I say that because Donald, at the end of the day, Donald Trump is a businessman, and at the end of the day, the prison system is a business. You know what I'm saying? So I think they're going to continue to invest in that shit. So that means that more laws go get are going to get enforced that's going to make it even easier to go to jail, just like it always has been. Okay. Yeah. And that's the scary thing, though. And it's scary. It's scary because a lot of times you find out that most of the laws are written for, let me see, how I want to say it. Most of the laws are written to get you fucked up. When I say you, I mean us. <laughs> yeah. The black community. Yeah. Again, okay, shout out to the government. It's, it's, it's laws in place for us to be fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean strategically too though. Yeah. You know? Just like uh one thing too, and I haven't I haven't done this. So people out there checking us out on Instagram live or uh on the phone lines or on eblockradio.com right now, do this for me. Wherever you at, all right. So if you're in Michigan or or Colorado like I am, or wherever you are listening or checking us out on the replay, what I need y'all to do is go to your local municipality, right? So your if you're in Michigan, then you go on to Michigan.gov, you know, whatever. Go in there and check out all of the new laws that got passed on January 1st. You will be surprised. And didn't even know, right? The new year brought what? in new law. You didn't even know. <laughs> didn't, you know didn't even know at all. Didn't even know. So while you was outside shooting your gun and shit for uh, <laughs> for New Year's, they was, they was changing laws and shit. That's crazy, right? That's crazy. That's so crazy, dog. Yeah, but that's that's how the government worked, though. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, that, that's how the government worked. They, I, I can't even say, like, I want to say they sneaky, but I can't even say they sneaky because they, they do shit in plain sight. They just know that people don't pay attention. They just know that people don't pay attention. So they like, you know, we're going to slide this in here on this day. You know what I'm saying? And then you be in trouble. Don't even know right. why. Don't think even you know, why. know the law. Right. Think you know the law, but that was the 2016 law, though. That's crazy. <laughs> that shit don't mean nothing like because it's 2017. Right. So right. Shout out to all the lawmakers, man, who are able to sleep at night. I don't know how the hell y'all are able to do it. <laughs> right, right. Heartless. Yeah, heartless as hell. But then at the end of the day, I, 
obviously, you know, uh, is a is a democracy supposedly. You know, I use air quotes on that. It's supposedly a democracy, and I guess laws aren't in place to to keep people in place. It's just I just hate how it always keep us in place. And, and I, well, I can't say nobody else, but it seems like it keep us in place more often. Is that am I safe in saying that? No. Yeah, uh, no, no. I think so. Good. But at the, again, though, I I kind of agree with you. Like you, you kind of you uh you hesitant at saying it for real. <laughs> so I I say it for you. I think that I think that Trump being in office. Uh, let's see. Trump being in office may not affect your daily life. You know what I'm saying? It may not affect your daily life. But at the end of the day, it should. All right, and this is why it should, because a presidency like that, if a presidency like that does not change your mentality or your way of moving, then you really out here with no plan. Because this is this no is no plan, good. no future, no plan, no future. Because this is this is just like you know, just if you look through the history, this is really reminiscent of a Nixon presidency. I mean, it's so many similarities. That is is almost scary. Like it looked like the same shit. And you know what happened during Nixon shit? I mean, it was like it was revolts going on. Like motherfuckers was rioting everywhere. And right. I'm not prepared. I ain't prepared for that shit. <laughs> like that shit look that shit look cool on old documentaries and shit. But I ain't trying to live in the neighborhood with with tanks riding down my shit and they enforcing six o'clock fucking uh, curfews and shit on grown people. Like I. Yeah. I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't trying to live my life like that, bro. Hell no. Nah. So that's why I say this is this has got to be a motivation for us to move a different way. And instead of instead of trying to like I'm I'm getting real deep on the, on the Thursday and shit. But instead of trying to wait, you know what I'm saying? Instead of trying to wait for uh like a, a super leader. Then we just gotta have individual leaders in our in our own neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I was checking out some. Uh, I got some comments on here. Uh, shout out to my man, Mister Big Time. Make sure you check him out on Instagram, Mister. That's Mister. Mister. You know what I'm saying, Mister. <laughs> Mister Big Time, Mister. man. What up, though? It say uh it say it should inspire you to be motivated and not to be complacent. That that's exactly my point. That's exactly what I'm saying. It, it should inspire some type of movement because if you think that this ain't going to change something, then you crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, my man, D-Rick. Shout out to my man, Derek Speaks on there. He say, uh, it will. All right? He said, we have never seen a cabinet full of billionaires and millionaires. This is also true, right? So you got a cabinet. All the people that you're bringing in are, you know, uh, what you would call, I guess, the elite. You know what I'm saying? So all it when you, I mean, we already obviously got a problem. When the top one percent making all the decisions for all us poor folks, it's always an issue, right? And this is actually oh, what you gonna oh. have in the cabinet. So, yep, yep, yeah, that is a uh, shout out to my man D. Rick, dog. Make sure you check out my man at DerekSpeaks.com. All right, because he, he be kicking some nuts. So make sure you check him out and also follow him on Instagram as well, Derek Speaks. All right, but uh, yeah, definitely a good point. And I think the the crazy thing though is that it's happening. Let me see. For I'm a, let me say, I'm gonna say it like this. For them, it's happening at a great time. All right. So we got two two situations going on here. For the president elect and the people that he's choosing to put into you know those places of power in the cabinet is a great time for them because people are so disgruntled with government. That they kind of avoid it out all together. So that means this is the perfect yeah. opportunity yeah. for four years to put all of the bullshit ever on earth into politics. Because everybody acts yep. like they don't want to touch it. Like, I don't want to know. I don't want to see it. I don't want to talk about it. And next thing you know, I mean, you know, it's a loose reference, but next thing you know, we back in chains. I'm just saying, though. <laughs> they got it. Got it. Yeah, they got you. I mean, it's perfect. That's like... That's like if you, uh, you know, I, I hate to put the criminal element in it, but, you know, to a certain degree, the government is a criminal element. And shout out again to the government, though, in case you want to shut it down. But, uh, 
the government is a criminal element. I don't give a fuck how you look at it. That's what it is. And this is from a criminal mind point. Then this is this is perfect because it, it, it's, it's easy to infiltrate and steal shit when ain't nobody paying attention. And that's right. that's, that's exactly what's happening. It's like it, it's like a diversion, and it's it's a diversion at its best though. Like because you're just sure. making such, yeah, you're just making such a mockery out of the government and the fact of who they elected that you just like you're not really paying attention. And them be the ones, them be the ones, them be the ones that that take all the food out the cabinet, man. And you come back from, <laughs> you come back from your walk in the park and ain't no porridge. You know what I'm saying? Right, that's right. crazy. <laughs> right. Motherfuckers just stole the porridge. <laughs> stole the whole porridge. <laughs> right. Hey, don't forget, man, you got a few moments left. If you're on Instagram Live right now, you can comment or you can hit us up, 760-283-4647. If you're on E-Block Radio, man, hit that number one key. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you follow my man at Real Monk Money and, of course, myself at Hood Howard Stern. Check out all the replays at www.eblockradio.com. Also, too, man, I forgot to give a shout-out to our partners over at Blackout Radio, man. And my dog. Shout-out to my man, Black Tear, doing his thing. But, um... Too, I, I want to say, man, if you got a, uh, yeah, that, that's that's true too. Shout out again to my man, Mr. Big Time. Said throwing rocks and hiding their hands. That's the truth. Yeah, that, that, that's what happened though. It's like you know they want to they they rattle the basically rattling the cage and they act like they ain't do it type of shit. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah, that's politics. Yeah, yeah. That's politics. We just got to figure out. We got to figure out how to make it work for us. Simple as that. And I think we resourceful people like that. So I think. Well, let me say, we can be resourceful people like that. Right? Let me say that. <laughs> now, are we at a stage to do that effectively right now? I don't know, dog. Let me ask you that before we before we get up out of here, Mom, money. What what you say, man? Like, could I? I think that this is a perfect opportunity to unite and make some kind of movement. But like in, in your mind, what you? What do you think has to happen, like to really make us, like to really make us wake up and be like, you know what, yeah, because because people people getting killed by the police, uh, law getting getting input that 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 only affect us. Those things haven't made us get it together. So what do you think will actually make us be like, oh shit, let's get this shit together, yo? Uh, bro, I have no, I, I have no clue. Because we've been through a lot of shit, bro. Yeah. I mean, from the, the grimy shit ever, bro. And nothing, 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 nothing has united us yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, from Martin Luther King to Malcolm X to, to their movement and all that thing. But I don't I don't understand. Yeah. I just don't understand how we, as a people, haven't, you know, got together, got something, you know, I just don't understand. Uh, I, I, I understand I mean, how we, we all the stuff goes on around us, and nobody, nobody saying, "Damn, that is fucked up." We should do something about yeah. it. This and this, that. It, it's just crazy, right? I mean, I, I guess we're trying, but then it's the, it's the, maybe the the false. I, I guess maybe the false hope that I won't even say hope, but the. The, the false impression that things aren't really as bad as they seem. I mean, would you yeah, agree with that? Yeah, yeah you know what yeah, I mean? I got yeah, I uh, I don't know, man, but shit, it's, it's Thursday. We got we got way too deep for a Thursday, man. I apologize, y'all. Shit, sometimes yeah, we have yeah, serious shit. <laughs> sometimes we talk serious shit deep. and it's okay. It's okay because you need to you need to you need to really realize some of the shit. Again though, if you're on Instagram live or if you're on eblockradio.com or if you're on the phone lines, make sure whatever municipality you live in, like you're in Michigan, Colorado, whatever, make sure you go to your state website and just check and look and see what I'm saying about how many laws changed over, you know what I'm saying, from from last year to the new year. So check that out, man. That's just some interesting shit. But uh yeah, we gotta get up out of here, man. I didn't talk too much politics, man. We've been on here for an hour, so we gotta we got to dip up out of here, dog. 
But I do want to thank everybody who checked us out on Instagram Live, everybody who checked us out on the phone lines, and everybody who checked us out on eblockradio.com or on the mobile app. Damn, we everywhere, bro. <laughs> oh, out here. Out here, no <laughs> <laughs> oh, let know, man. We about to bust up out here, dog. Y'all make sure y'all enjoy y'all y'all weekend, man. Enjoy this new year because it's still New Year, so you get your festivities on. But be safe, you know what I'm saying? Be safe. But you know what it is, man. It's your boy, the Hood Howard Stern, Q Lewis, holding it down from six mile to the mile high. You boy, my money. You know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> For real, my man, my money always late, dog. It's all good. Shout out to my man. <laughs> Talk to my man Splashy B, dog. You know what I'm talking about? Can't be on this joint right here. Splashy B. Yeah. Black skeleton bitches. Girl. I got them hating on me, cause I'm getting snapped. All these sides on me, they trying to send me snaps. Spend a little change, I'm trying to get it back. Yeah, I'm in the telly, I'm trying to make it crack. Got them hating on me, cause I'm getting snapped. All these sides blue, they trying to send me snaps. Spend a little change, trying to make it back. Yeah, I'm in the telly, I'm trying to make it crack. Posted at the telly on my iPod Shorty wearing eyes out I was saying my God I'm on it, I'm on it She super flame, she super tight I pray to God she swim the night I pray to God I swim the night OMG, that's been the night I swear to God Locked in, we locked in. We locked in. I'm locked and loaded, I'm cocking. I'm cocking. Overhand, Terry Conklin. Terry Conklin. Great black coat, I'm bouncing. And I get it, I'm making fresh. I'm making fresh. Such a bell, put it on my chest. Put it on my chest. Same thing with brew life. Make these hoes want new life. I got them hating on me, cause I'm getting snapped. All these sides on me, they trying to send me snaps. Spend a little change, I'm trying to get it back. Yeah, I'm in the telly, I'm trying to make it brat. Got them hating on me, cause I'm getting snaps. All these sides blue, they trying to send me snaps. Spend a little change, trying to make it back. Yeah, I'm in the telly, I'm trying to make it brat. Pop that, pop that, pussy boa. Okay, now pop that. That pussy power, okay now pop that, that pussy power, okay now pop that, now drop that, but girl don't you stop that, keep it rolling, keep it fresh girl, you know you my best girl, I don't need that best girl, but you need that best girl, if I spit it at you, I shoot it at you, I'ma shoot it girl, I shoot it back, 38, yeah, I'm shooting fast. You my boo, babe, you super special. I'm trying to go in, trying to go hard. Put it in you till you drink God. Girl, don't you blast me. I got that dope girl just acting. I got them hating on me, cause I'm getting snapped. All these sides on me, they trying to send me snaps. Spend a little change, I'm trying to get it back. Yeah, I'm in the telly, trying to make it brat. Got them hating on me, cause I'm getting snapped. All these sides blue, they trying to send me snaps. Spend a little change, I'm trying to make it back. Yeah, I'm in the telly, I'm trying to make it brat. Cheers.